Hey y'all, it's me, Chantel, and I'm coming to you guys today with a day in the life of a pre-K teacher first weeks of school. So last week was our first week of school. We started on Wednesday, and this is our first full week. So I decided to bring you guys along just so you can see the beginning process because I think my last day in the life, um, the kids were more settled in, they knew procedures. So I'm just bringing you guys along so y'all can see how I teach some of those procedures and we just started doing centers. I know this is the first full week, but I was like, let me just go ahead and try it out since these uh, most of my students were in the pre-K three um, classrooms last year. So yeah, so I'm about to head out and head to work. Okay guys, I'm here at work, of course, and it is 6.42 a.m. and I have been coming to work early lately and even though that's a good thing but i am a on-time teacher like i'm trying to work in my salary my contract hours at least in the morning because i already stay later in the afternoon not by choice but i already stay later so i usually try to get here on time on the dot um, I'm not an early bird teacher. I don't come to school early to prep because I usually prep my stuff during my planning period. Um, I know some of you say that you don't have time and that is very, very sad because we should not have to come to work super duper early or stay super duper late because school should build in a planning time. So I do use my planning time wisely. I don't go around talking uh, to my coworkers. I go ahead and plan and prep so I can be prepared for the next day. So I can come to work on time, not super early, and I can leave when it's time to leave. But anyways, I'm about to write um, some names on here because my yellow group, um, a student wasted her water yesterday. And they had been pulling up the name tag, so it got underneath the names and it got wet. So I just built them all up, and so that's what I'm about to do now before they come in. think about what I want them to do because um, probably in a week or two I'm gonna have them trace their names like once they finish yeah, um, eating true. breakfast they yeah, would um, trace their names I, that's why I took the buckets up because they be trying to draw on them but they're gonna trace their names or they would do morning tubs or free draws so I think today I want them to free draw but I took the buckets up, so I'm trying to see what are they gonna color with. Do I just lay the colors on the floor? I mean, on the table, or what? Um, I don't want them to play with Play-Doh just yet. I'm kind of waiting on that. Probably Friday we'll play with Play-Doh. Friday we'll play with Play-Doh, but I'm not sure just yet. Show love. Yeah. All right. 
Let me see if you remember. Mm, mirrors. 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 Today. Today. Is going. Is going. To be. To be. A. A. Great. Great. Day. Day. All right. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. So that means your eyes should be on me. Let's sing our good morning song. Good morning train. Are we ready? Yeah. I want to hear you. Yeah. Good morning, morning train.
passing out um, mats and the students are putting their own mats down. I am straightening up, straightening up my area and um, collecting center materials. So we're trying to like put that stuff up as we go. around this time um, my kids will be at recess but since it is raining um, we're just going to take an early nap because I had already put their uh, mats down so usually I try to check the weather so I would know like okay we are going we are going to have indoor recess so I would put the mats down so soon so we can do indoor recess in the class However, you know, the weather is very, very iffy here. So, sometimes it says it's gonna rain and it rains, and sometimes it says it's gonna rain and it don't. So we're just fine with taking an early nap, and usually I would eat my food in there with them, but I didn't today, so I am about to go warm my food up and eat it while camera Okay. Thank you. While they are um, napping and then um, plan, because like I said, I try to get during this time, I'm trying to plan because I'm not staying at the school and I'm not coming early. I just need y'all to know that. <laughs> so but I really do use this time to um, plan my day. But okay, talk to you guys later. I just had a whole situation. One of my kids got um, starbursts stuck in their hair. So yeah, dealing with that, the rest of the kids are at music and I'm just waiting on that parent to come so we can take care of her hair. I'm sorry, now I'm chewing on the starburst. <laughs> but yeah <laughs> all right we just got back and we're about to do math so you'll see a math lesson in real time mirror yes. it's time it's time for math hand eyes so remember math is when we talk about different things like numbers and shapes and are these numbers? No. no. Those are numbers. This a number? No. No, no. Down here are numbers. These are numbers? No. no. These are numbers. Yes. Yeah. Yes, those are your numbers. Can we count to 10? Yes. Say I can. Yes. Okay, let's see if you can count to 10 by patting your legs like this. Ready? Let's walk. Okay. Ready? Go. One, two. What numbers have we already talked about? Zero and one. Zero and one. Y'all are so smart. You should run. So y'all already remember. We talked about zero. But I forgot how to write a zero. How do I write a zero? Okay. Let's do it together. Round and round like a superhero. That's the way you make a zero. What was that? I want you to find something orange. Go. Y'all found something orange? Yes. Oh, I see. Let's see. You found something orange? I found something orange. back home and today was a good day like overall all in my closet <laughs> overall today was a pretty good day 
and yeah that's all i have for you guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like i said in many many videos before i'm going to try to stay consistent that is my goal my school year goal is to stay consistent um with sharing information about teaching that I know in a day in the life of a teacher. So that's all. Once again, thank you guys.